God's standards are so high that the natural carnal mind cannot hit. It takes the man of the spirit to utilize the things of the spirit. Manifestation awaits you after this message. Listen, there is a reason why many people never do so much with God. There is a reason why many people rise to a level, whether in ministry or in business or in career, and then they plateau. Only to speak about the miracles and the mighty things of yesterday. I want to hand to you this morning a secret. A powerful secret. Are we together now? It takes focus. It takes hunger. It takes passion to still be doing well, to still be making progress, to still be receiving the applauds. And the louder the applaud comes, the more you do not let it distract you. It says, after this, I looked. Some of you were looking well. Your gaze was intact until men began to clap. Their applause became louder than his voice. It so distracted you. Right now, you do not even know your true north, where that bearing is again. After this, after the one million came, hmm, after I moved to UK, for some, I stopped looking. I looked before getting the visa because that, it made me fast. It made me pray. I mean, I had a, something driving me. But after this, The Bible tells us that the door was opened and the voice came. It did not come just as a gift. It came as a reward because God was watching. Chapter 1, watching. Chapter 2, watching. Chapter 3, watching. You mean in spite of the fact that you have been given the privilege to document this, your focus is not distracted. In spite of the fact that even if we were to stop here, you would still be a champion as an apostle. He says, after this, I looked. And because he looked and beheld, a door was opened in heaven. Where was he before? So even in heaven, there is still room for more. You would think because he was already there, that meant all he saw was all there was to be seen. He says, I looked and the first voice which I heard was as a voice of the trumpet talking with me. And he said this in honor to my passion, in honor to my hunger, in honor to my press. He says, I see a desire in you to last. I see a desire in you to remain. I have studied the way you do ministry and I see that you intend to remain even after 30 years. You intend to remain in business. You intend to be a leader in your field. Therefore, come up here. It's a call. Come up here. There are things I will show you, but the requirement is that I must probe your hunger. I must probe your thirst. I must probe your passion. Can I tell you, God is glorious. God is loving, but he's not foolish. He draws men according to his perception of their hunger, their passion for him. You would think just because he loved you and died for you, he will give you everything, grant you access to any realm. No, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are dimensions that are rewards. And for you to qualify there, God studies hunger. Hunger is a powerful component in the believer's work. Hunger is proof of health when people become sick the first thing they lose is appetite medical practitioners are here and they use appetite the lack of it sometimes to confirm that this man is sick truly because all men who are well should be hungry and should be thirsty hallelujah are we together So come up hither is a journey into higher realms of authority and power. Come up hither is not just a statement, it's an initiation. God is calling you to tell you there are higher realms of power, there are higher realms of authority 
and that he wants to bring you into but you have to see there must be that desire my god moses never knew that the rod he was holding could become the rod of god one day that that rod could part the red sea had he tried it at that point that version of him could not perform that miracle only god knows what else your hands can do only god knows what else your mind can do only god knows what else your organization can do but that version of you that version of consciousness and understanding cannot go that far so he said come up hither come up hither come up hither why is he asking you to come up hither because there are things that need to be altered as far as your perception is concerned come up hither is a journey into higher realms of revelation is altering your sight is the business of sight come up here and I will show you not I will tell you there are things you need to see you can doubt what you hear but you cannot doubt what you see there are times you pick a call and maybe because of some network challenge you, you can you need to verify who is speaking and the person almost gets angry and say you've forgotten my voice but not when you are seeing you cannot look at someone and say are you the one you see that now sight is more powerful than sound because it creates greater conviction come up hither and i will show you is god speaking to someone so it is a journey to higher levels of authority and power and that happens by higher levels of illumination and revelation let me tell you the truth the whole journey of come up hither is a business of consciousness and revelation come up here is because God wants to do something to your consciousness your understanding the revelation of the spirit at work in your life because you see authority in this kingdom is a measure of the light that you have and that you have received I don't want to go ahead of myself but when you go to chapter 5 the worship of the lamb by the 20 and 4 elders the Bible says I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll is that right then the bible says the elder tapped me and he said weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david is worthy to open the book he now said i saw i looked on the throne and i saw a lamb as though had been slain having seven eyes and seven horns take note of that statement seven eyes and seven horns the eye represents light and revelation the horns represent authority so for every dimension of authority there is a light component that connects to it seven eyes and seven horns seven eyes and seven horns you don't step into that zone of authority until you have the light component I have seen this in my visions many times and so I know not just by scripture it has become my experience you are empowered by light you cannot demonstrate authority beyond your level of light your authority is at the mercy of your spiritual understanding when God wants to expand your reach in terms of exercising authority what happens is that he opens your consciousness by revelation to higher truths deeper dimensions and this is what God has called us to experience even this morning is someone changing hmm. so the whole journey of come up here is a journey of revelation and alter an alteration to your consciousness Revelations 4 verse 1 it says come up here and I will show you Revelation chapter 5 verse 1 I want to show you a few scriptures 5 verse 1 media let's walk together we'll look at verse 1 and then verse 6 it says and I saw somebody say and I saw are you seeing that is the is a whole business of sight seeing go to verse 6 please Revelations 5 and verse 6 and I beheld and lo in the midst of this I saw I beheld I saw I beheld I saw I beheld I saw in fact let me give you one more scripture Revelations um, chapter 6 let's look at verse 1 verse 3 and verse 5 all of them will say come and see hmm. come if you come up here it is so that you can see 
one of the four elders said verse 1 come and see verse 3 come and see verse 5 come and see so when he calls you it's not just come and watch it's not just come and roam around he's calling you so that you can come and see call on to me and he says I will answer is that in your Bible I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not so the way to knowledge is to show you when you see it you can have that knowledge come on to me and I will answer I will show you the my cure to your ignorance is your sight show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not your knowledge is at the mercy of what you see when God wants to correct a man's ignorance and take away spiritual limitation from your life he gives you a higher perception of spiritual things let me tell you the truth there is something God can show you about finances that will make it look like you are holding a charm you will conquer finances in this realm in a way that surprises you there is something God can show you about the healing ministry and you will command tremendous power it's not just an impartation it's a product of light most times we just seek impartations you see impartation is like fuel in a car the fuel does not drive the car are we together now you still need a driver revelation is that driver the driver without the fuel will not be able to move but you just carry gas a jerry can say of gas and just put it in the car you're not going anywhere without a good driver it doesn't matter even if it's a new car revelation is that driver it creates transitions the value of the anointing is that it comes upon an individual who is transformed by light you see the potential of impartation when transformation by light has happened are we together now when the vessel is small it makes the oil small you will blame the oil but the oil has potential to assume the shape of any vessel given to it the prophet said the problem is that the vessel is small he says go and borrow vessels borrow not a few hallelujah 